Well, I think the, the, the focus has been on so what you might call peripheral issues in terms of the everyday life, you know, the Ukraine war being part of that. And, you know, as terrible as it is, um, I don't think it's the number one concern of uh, of the voters. I think the voters are concerned. And I don't think abortion is their big concern. I think they're concerned about things like inflation, uh, the the fact that um, the the economy is is it does not seem to be doing particularly well. Um, I think that they're they're concerned about things like not being able to buy a house, pay the rent, and neither party is really at, focused on this. You know, they just sort of point fingers at each other. But but fundamentally, they they want to work on these other issues which which excite their base. Whether it's you know the sort of you know Trump claims about the election, or it's about uh, or it's about abortion, or it's about uh, uh, CRT, you know, critical race theory. These are not insignificant issues, but I think the real issues that people care about, and this has been true for most of American politics, are economic, and neither party seems to be addressing it. The Biden administration seems to be in some sort of weird space um, that has very little to do with reality, as they've been completely sideswiped by the inflation and the republicans really don't have much to say except oh it's your fault and what do you think voters can do about this then if uh, the question of kind of how culture has become politicized isn't necessarily what's going to bring uh, you know bread and butter to the table i mean what can voters do do you think in order to uh, advocate for their material interests well i think what they have to do is they have to be very uh, clear about you know who's policies are going to help them more than others. Um, I think, you know, which policies are going to promote economic growth. Um, you know, it's very interesting to me, neither party really has a strong economic growth agenda. Republicans at least aren't opposed to it. The problem the Democrats have is you cannot have economic growth and the, and essentially the Green New Deal at the same time. It just, you know, because essentially the, 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 and this is really a problem the Democrats have, which is, they have historically been the party of the working class, like like the Labour Party in the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, they've been losing that vote beco- in part because they have endorsed not only sort of uh, some radical social ideas, but but because fundamentally, the Green New Deal basically is we we have to reduce the economy, reduce the standard of living, mm-hmm. have people live in apartments and ride the bus instead of living in houses and drive cars. I would put that proposition up in front of the American people and the vast majority are going to vote for a single family house and, and a car than, than riding the bus to work. Um, this is a very, very big country. We, it is, it, distances are, are, are greater. We're used to a certain level of freedom, maybe an excess of freedom, but we're used to them. And people in the middle and working classes in this country historically are not likely to to be satisfied saying well maybe you'll do a little bit worse than the, than than your parents i don't think that's acceptable to most voters and whichever party can capture um the aspirations of that middle class i think that's the party that's going to do well and right now neither party's ready to do that 